Greetings and salutations. Today we will be covering the baffling, vanishing, and tragic fate of Dr. James McOrgan. In the shadow of the majestic Vale Mountains, nestled within the captivating town of Vale, Colorado, lies a perplexing tale that haunts the minds of many investigators to this day. It is the tragic tale of Dr. James Jim McGorgan, a 39-year-old physician whose ill-fated journey in March 2014 ended in a tragic demise. The question is, was it a mere accident, a twist of fate, or something more sinister lurking in the mountain's snow-capped peaks? Dr. James McGorgan was a seasoned medical professional who found himself drawn to the allure of Vale, a renowned ski resort nestled within the pristine White River National Forest. He was a man of dedication and skill, who had recently returned to Indiana from Wisconsin, where he had taken up a position in the emergency room of St. Joseph Regional Medical Center in Mishawaka. However, fate had a different plan in store for him. During his visit to the scenic landscapes of Vale, he decided to take a fateful hike into the rugged wilderness. Dr. McGorgan would inexplicably become separated from his companions, vanishing without a trace. Days would turn into weeks as the search and rescue team scoured the treacherous terrain in a desperate attempt to find him. However, the mountains held their secrets tightly but they could not conceal the tragic truth forever. On that fateful morning of March 14th, 2014, while shrouded in the mystique of Colorado's untamed wilderness, Dr. James McGorgan embarked on an ambitious expedition along with three of his intrepid companions. Their destination was the elusive Eisman Hut, nestled deep within the majestic mountains with its beckoning promise of temporary respite and shelter. Little did they know that this seemingly idyllic trek would plunge them into the heart of a mystery that would baffle investigators for years to come. The Eisman Hut is a collection of huts scattered across the rugged terrain. Said huts hold a storied past. Born from the crucible of the 1940s, it once served as a sanctuary for the esteemed 10th Mountain Division and as a grounds for mountain warfare training. However, now it stood as a beacon of adventure, drawing hikers and campers seeking solace in its rustic embrace. As the group set off on their arduous pilgrimage, the snow-covered landscape enveloped them in its icy grasp, concealing the treacherous path that lay ahead, with towering drifts reaching several feet in depth. Two routes beckoned from Vale towards the Eastman Huts, the renowned Spraddle Creek route and the more westerly path traversing Red Sandstone Creek. The choice of their passage remains shrouded in uncertainty, veiled by time. Both routes bore witness to the footfalls of countless adventurers, their trails etched deeply into the compacted snow. Despite the deceptive proximity of the hut, which was a mere four miles from their starting point, and the neighboring U.S. Interstate 70, the journey itself unraveled along a meandering trail stretching a notable nine miles through dense woodland and treacherous slopes. The easement hut, it seems, did not yield its secrets easily, for it was precisely this daunting challenge that lent its allure, beckoning both the bold and the brave. Undeterred by the formidable obstacles, McGorgan and his companions were no strangers to the harsh embrace of nature, and armed with experience, they carried on. It must be noted that Dr. McGorgan, being the ever consummate professional, carried with him an arsenal of survival essentials. A cell phone to bridge the gap between untamed wilderness and civilization, a set of basic medical supplies, a sleeping bag, along with an avalanche beacon as a safeguard to nature's wrath. He had also brought a GPS in order to better navigate the trails, along with warm clothing and an abundance of sustenance for their journey. Yet as the group ventured deeper into the wilderness, fate interjected with a cruel twist. The harmonious rhythm of their footsteps was disrupted and the winds whispered secrets untold. Dr. James McGorgan, once a stalwart figure in this mesmerizing tale, vanished into the ether, leaving behind a void that echoed with unanswered questions. What befell this seasoned adventurer amidst the serenity of the mountains? Did Miss 
misfortune befall him, or did a more ominous force conspire to erase him from the annals of time? While the search for answers began, the mountains struggled to keep their secrets, their impenetrable silence adding another layer to the mystique that enshrouded the case. Investigators retraced the group's steps meticulously, climbing through the rugged terrain in a desperate bid to unearth the truth. But as the seasons changed, so did the face of the mountains, obscuring the remains of their passage. In the wake of Dr. McGorgon's bewildering disappearance, one thing remains certain, the captivating allure of the Eastman hut and the treacherous journey to its doorstep, which continues to pull on the hearts and minds of adventurers. As the sun sets over the horizon, casting long shadows upon the snow-capped peaks, the legacy of Dr. James McGorgon endures as an enigma that lingers awaiting resolution, going into further detail as the clock struck 10 a.m., casting an ethereal glow upon the frigid landscape. The wary hikers found respite in the embrace of a well-deserved rest. Their breaths mingled in the crisp mountain air as they paused, their eyes fixed on the trail that stretched before them. Little did they know that their destinies would diverge at this pivotal moment, forever altering the course of their journey. It was during this reprieve that Dr. James McGorgon made a fateful decision. The allure of forging ahead captivated him as he intended to carve his own path through the unforgiving wilderness. This beckoned to him like a siren's call, and he resolved to venture forth alone, bidding farewell to his companions with the assurance of their reunion along the treacherous trail. As the remaining group continued their steady progression to the elusive Eastman hut, time and distance conspired to weave a tapestry of uncertainty around the solitary figure of Dr. McGorgon. Minutes turned into hours, and miles stretched on endlessly. Yet at the journey's end, the gathering darkness revealed a stark truth, a truth devoid of the presence they sought. As the final rays of sunlight bathed the Eastman hut in an amber glow. The group arrived wary and laden with unanswered questions. Their anticipation gave way to mounting concerns when they realized that Dr. James McGorgon, their comrade, was nowhere to be found. In this haven of refuge amidst the wilderness, his presence had been swallowed up by an eerie void which echoed throughout the surrounding mountains. Days turned into nights and search parties scoured the unforgiving terrain, guided by the breadcrumbs of information left behind. It was in this relentless pursuit that they stumbled upon a chilling revelation. Dr. McGorgon's lifeless form lay in a desolate abyss a mile and a half east from the Booth Falls trailhead, his body entwined with the icy tendrils of an unforgiving chute. They bore witness to a tragic fall that would forever silence his heartbeat. Yet amidst the desolation of the grim discovery, a question lingered. How did Dr. McGorgon, who embarked upon the path leading directly to the Eastman hut, find himself four and a half miles adrift from his intended course? The trail, once marked by footprints of anticipation, now bore the scars of uncertainty. The whispers of the wind carried echoes of a divergent path, a path that led astray, obscuring the beacon of his final destination. Clad in the trappings of an adventurer, Dr. McGorgon carried with him a split board, which is a snowboard that can be divided lengthwise, and the accompanying boots. This was a testament to his tenacity in traversing treacherous terrain. Yet the ice that had claimed him had claimed countless victims before and seemed to have conspired against him ensnaring his very essence and plunging him into an eternal slumber. As the waning light of the fateful day painted the vast expanse of the Colorado mountains, a distress signal pierced the stillness of the wilderness. The hikers, gripped by mounting concerns, swiftly relayed their plight to the authorities, the Vail Department of Public Safety, and the Eagle Valley's Sheriff Department were the ones to respond. Thus began a race against time, a relentless pursuit spanning the expansive 18 square mile area. Dr. James McGorgon, a man equipped with the accoutrements for survival, did invoke a semblance of reassurance for his survival amongst those tasked with unraveling the mystery of what had ensnared him. 
the weight of his provisions, the food, the water, the warm clothing, along with the GPS, offered solace to the search group amidst the daunting backdrop of the unforgiving terrain. The Chronicle of the Enigma deepens as the remnants of civilization in the form of cellular technology flicker to life. Dr. McGorgan's cell phone had emitted a solitary ping on that fateful day, a fleeting connection to the world which he had left behind. However, as the shadows consumed the hours, the device had fallen silent, leaving investigators to grapple with the void of communication, an ominous signpost in the labyrinthian tale. Over the course of the ensuing three days, a dedicated army of searchers combed the treacherous landscape with unwavering determination. Footsteps, snowmobiles, and the whirl of helicopters from the National Guard's High Altitude Aviation Training Site, which is stationed in the nearby Gibson, Colorado, orchestrated a symphony of search. Yet, as nature's fury unleashed its worth, the heavens roared in protest forcing the search to come to a halt. On Tuesday, March 18th, the tempestuous weather became both an ally and an adversary, cloaking the secrets that lay beneath blankets of snow. In total, the collective efforts of these valiant searchers amassed an astonishing 1,000 hours, a testament to their commitment in the search for Dr. McGorgan. However, despite this arduous toil, their efforts yielded no tangible clues. Even the virgin snow, an impartial witness to human presence, failed to divulge footprints that would have signaled a deviation from the designated path. Twenty days had elapsed since the disappearance of Dr. James McGorgan. This is an eternity in the realm of missing persons. Yet, on the fateful day of April 3rd, 2014, a glimmer of hope emerged as a group of intrepid backcountry skiers stumbled upon a haunting tableau amidst the Booth Falls area. An icefall there laid upon an ice sheet rest the lifeless form of McGorgan, his journey culminating at the bottom. Astonishingly, McGorgan's helmet remained firmly in place, a lone sentinel guarding the secrets of his final moments. However, the absence of his coat, gloves, and most perplexingly, his boots painted a perplexing picture. This was an enigma that defied most logical explanation. It must be noted that nestled within his backpack lay a harbinger of a connection to the world he had left behind. His dormant cell phone lay in repose, tantalizingly hinting at an unanswered call and a series of messages that were left unseen. The surrounding area buzzed with active cellular reception, an ironic juxtaposition of connectivity amidst the serenity of the wintry abyss. The unfolding tragedy echoed a tale of mishap amidst the whims of nature's icy grasp. Ascending a ridge, his eyes filled with a majestic vista that beckoned him onward. McGargan ventured forth, oblivious to the treachery that awaited him, as gravity seized control, the icy precipice becoming his final adversary. Authorities surmised that the fateful encounter with an unforgiving patch of ice precipitated his fall, a swift and merciless descent that silenced his vibrant spirit in an instant. His earthly sojourn reached its untimely conclusion, snuffed out by the unforgiving forces that held dominion over the wilderness. The mournful reverie of those tasked with unraveling this intricate enigma grew all the more profound as they stood upon the precipice of Booth Falls trailhead, a mere mile and a half from the site of Mac Gorgon's discovery. Yet this short distance concealed an insurmountable barrier, a terrain engulfed in the clutches of snow, its steps reaching up to eight feet, casting an impenetrable shroud over any who dared venture within. The searchers, their hearts heavy with the weight of unanswered questions, cast longing glances towards the distant visage of Vale, a tantalizing reminder of the world they had momentarily abandoned, the haunting proximity of the discovery site to civilization, offering fleeting glimpses of the town nestled below only deepened the sense of tragic irony. While search efforts were focused on the sprawling 18 square mile area, the answers lay concealed within a place where the human eye could behold the comforts of civilization. A cruel twist of fate further entwined this saga of uncertainty. When McGorgan's companions arrived at the Eastman hunt, his conspicuous absence jolted them into a frenzy. They had been resolute in their determination to summon the aid of 
the Eagle County's Sheriff's Office, initiating a race against time, which spanned beyond the boundaries of reason. Vale Mountain Rescue and a consortium of tireless search groups embarked on the quest, yet unbeknownst to their efforts, McGorgon had ventured beyond their purview, much like a ghostly specter eluding their grasp. Within the depths of the rugged Colorado wilderness, a perplexing conundrum unfolds. On April 7th, 2014, Eagle County Coroner Cara Betis unveiled the harrowing truth that had befallen Dr. James McGorgon. Through the meticulous examination of his lifeless form, chilling details emerged. A litany of injuries, beseeching answers, and a narrative etched in tragedy. According to the coroner's solemn declaration, McGorgon's body bore the scars of a tumultuous journey, the shattered remnants of a broken femur, the lingering specter of head trauma, the weight of devastation to the left side of his chest, all spoke of a tumultuous final struggle. The inescapable conclusion echoed throughout the halls of her medical expertise. His demise was a symphony of unfortunate circumstances, a haunting manifestation manifestation of destiny's cruel hand. However, as the shroud of tragedy descends, more questions emerged. Their absence obscured within the tapestry of the wilderness. Questions such as what sinister forces conspired on that fateful day of March 14th 2014, which propelled McGorgon on the arduous odyssey through the treacherous terrain. The elusive truth lies in the haunting juxtaposition of facts. The intrepid hiker traversed 12 through 14 miles of unforgiving backcountry, a formidable feat amidst the snowdrifts reaching a height of 8 feet. How did he find himself bereft of his boots and lost within the snow-laden expanse? The chilling hypothesis of hypothermia encircles this tale of woe. Did the bitter embrace of icy winds and plummeting temperatures drive McGorgon to surrender to the paradoxical allure of undressing, despite a desperate gambit to preserve what little warmth remained? Yet amidst tragedy, unanswered riddles persist. Why did the siren call of his cell phone and the guiding beacon of his fully functional GPS tracker go unheeded, their potential salvation discarded in the throes of the unknown? What propelled him to separate from his hiking companions, embarking on a solitary path towards the easement hut. Why were his intentions seemingly veiled in secrecy? As investigations delve deeper into the labyrinthian enigma, the mountains of Vale withhold their secrets, cloaking them in an impenetrable mystique. The passage of time has transformed this puzzling case into a testament of the unknown. We are now left to ponder the unanswered riddles that enshroud Dr. James McGorgon's tragic demise. Did the allure of the unknown lead him astray, or had unseen forces conspired to alter the course of his journey? What we do know is that the mountains hold their secrets close, refusing to relinquish the truth. In the quest for resolution, we are confronted with the chilling reality that some mysteries may forever remain unsolved. If you remained with me until the end, I thank you, and I do hope you stay tuned and subscribe for more content.